All right, hello everybody. We're doing a little handheld here. Hello, welcome to Scott Tindall's Home Shop, the Garden Edition. All right, we're gonna take a walk out here if the cat don't trip me up. And uh, take a walk out here and give y'all an update on our little garden. I think we had a rabbit or something get in the garden. You can see it doesn't have a fence. But we had a rabbit get in the garden, eat the top off one of our pepper plants or a dog or whatever got out here could have been my own dumb cat I'm waiting on it to quit raining cause let me go over and show you this real quick uh, not the smoker I have this little thing right here that uh, you hook up to your garden hose and it lets you uh, you switch it from water to feed and it puts a little uh, fertilizer just some right, just some fertilizer it goes in there all right let's go on out here and check out the garden but as soon as i bought it I did, it, it, it wasn't as soon as i bought it it wasn't working Oops, excuse me and uh, all i had to do is take it apart and put it right back together i think it's uh one of the cups on the pump wasn't working took it apart put it right back together it worked but as soon as i got it to working 10 minutes later major downpour all right so let's go out here and check on the garden. Uh, so I have to do some weeding. I'm gonna get some filter fabric. Cause this was just grass, as you can see, all of that. So the collards are are coming up quite nice. Those are all collards. There's a pepper plant. I'll go. I'll go over there. Here's a pepper plant. There's a tomato. I have the tomatoes staked up. There's my squash. So uh, I even have some blooms on this one. And I think this is yellow squash right right through the middle right here. Right here. And it's yellow. And I think these little ones over here are zucchini. This is way late the season, I understand that. But if you can see, I'll get real close. I have corn planted. And it's a row right down through there and a row right down through there and a row right down through there all the way out there right down the center there they're about that tall so it's just an update we got blooms on some of it i got one little plant right over here let me get over here where you can see it that one little plant over there i'm not sure what it's going to do it may take off that was actually there were two seeds that grew in that plant right there. And I pulled one off. It's still alive, still green, but it hasn't gotten any bigger. I'm waiting on the corn to come up because we are going to get some filter fabric and cut it and slide it in around around everything, choke the weeds out. And obviously right here, I'll run around the edges with the tiller and kind of keep that from encroaching. Here's the red bell pepper. Maybe maybe it'll it'll take off. I don't know. There's the cat. And while we're out here, uh, I want to give a shout out to Portuguese Prepper. I love watching your videos. And uh, so here's my apple tree. Um, getting quite large. It's actually growing. And so there we go. All right, like I said, quick update on the garden. There's the garden. And I, I thought I'd show you this little extra bit. If the cat don't trip me. He loves walking right under my feet. There's an old hay cutter and a lawnmower that caught on fire. But this is one of my hay fields. Well, one of my hay fields. The whole front yard's mine. This is what we consider, we always call this the big half. So if you see this fence right close, right starting at the trees right there, goes down behind that house, and then it takes off towards the road, goes around, comes up by the trees. You see the tire marks. All right, that's one side. And it's not too bad on the weeds this year. There's some wildflowers and stuff, but cows will eat that. This is, we give this to cows. And then if you look way out yonder, sorry I can't zoom, 
way out there on the other side of all those trees is the other little section that's normally cleaner grass i don't know why oh i burnt that side of the field one year and let me tell you that's kind of scary setting your front yard on fire with four or five people out there with sticks and keeping it beat down so that it only goes so far and so fast so it worked i got away with it i'm not we're not willing to risk it again all right and just a little add-on here so it's not a little short video for those that don't know i'm a ham radio operator my call is kj4biz and there's my tower and my set of beams and that's my two meter 440 on top and yeah, so there you go there's a the hay field I can turn around kind of slow so I don't make you dizzy and there's the garden all right until next time we'll give you our next update on next garden update we'll give you uh, thanks for watching thanks for all the people that have subscribed uh, give us a thumbs up leave a comment down below uh, I accept any comment just I don't know what's going on don't know what you like don't know if there's audio problems or video problems because I just don't know so leave a comment and don't forget to check out our other videos and I'll go ahead and warn you some of my previous videos are um, rather sketchy in quality because I shot them with a cell phone and didn't have any editing skills I don't still don't have a whole lot now but I have more than I did and they're shot with a cell phone and bad lighting and sound and all kind of stuff but still you can make out the content all right so until next time uh get her done and remember if i can do it you can do it i don't know if that's saying a lot but bye